Hello, today I have something different. Today we will check power consumption. I have many, probably too many development boards. Most of them are based on ESP32, but I also have few Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, Microbits, STM32 and more. So today we will check how many milliamps each board needs. This will be a relaxed video. I will show you most of my boards. I will talk about some of them, we will see very old projects and programs and I will not test sleep power consumption. To monitor power consumption I will use this FNB58 USB power monitor. This fancy device was sent to me by FNIRC company. FNIRC is a sponsor of this video it is quite nice and well well built device and i have been playing with it for the last couple of days this can be used to monitor charging of your devices to check your adapters i find that some of mine are very weak it can detect different different methods methods of fast charging it can calculate losses in your cables it can calculate battery capacity of your phone or device. It has a few inputs and outputs. It can measure voltage in a range from 4 to 28 volts. So this is not only for 5 volts provided by USB port. Built-in Bluetooth, this os oscilloscope view. Overall very interesting and useful device. In the description you can find a link so feel free to check it. Okay, let's start. On one side I will attach my adapter. Nice. And on this side I will attach this. I call it printer cable. First board, of course, Arduino Uno. 54 milliamps. Great beginner development board. Let's try another one. Uno. Thirty-two. Maybe because this is some kind of clone. Okay. Use for Arduino Nano. So, Arduino Nano 27 milliamps. Nice. Great Arduino for breadboard. Compact and small. One of my projects are doing a nano with OLED display. 36 milliamps. Okay. Enough of Arduinos. Now I have. Uh, USB micro. Where to start? Micro bit. With some sort of cable running here. Sixteen milliamps. In primary school, kids are using this to learn programming. It is easy to program, but I never like it. T 
this is let me see Arduino Maker 1000 let's try this Twenty three milliamps. Very nice. This is my first Arduino with built in Wi Fi. But then I started to using ESP thirty uh, two. No, no ESP thirty two. My first board made by Espressif was this people call it node MCU 79 millivolts or Here I have my Node MCU with OLED and this blinking 555 timer 88 or 89 milliamps. Also here I have for example STM fifteen milliamps. Or Okay, let's let's finally go to ESP32. Yes, this old ESP32 board with this beer beers scrolling will take 100 milliamps. have another ESP32 board made by uh, I think this is a little go smaller forty four no it is it is changing I'm not sure <laughs> what sketches on this it is a little too low power consumption for dt go for esp32 this is a nice board made by maker fabs with this is esp32 with built in uh, oled 57 this is make python board 57 milliamps and here is here is make python with tft display you can see that it needs much more milliamps board also made by Lily Go this is e paper board forty six uh, okay
we are we are still on USB micro and here I have this board ESP32 but this ESP32 board can be connected to your monitor mouse and keyboard so this is practically mini computer oh here is also a board made by maker fabs and it is used to playing games 72 very nice ESP32 with with Nintendo emulator okay Finally, let's see our USB-C boards. So, in this category we have TTGO T-Display M5 Stamp C3 There is also even tinier M5 Stamp but you don't have USB connector but this is my smallest smallest development board made by Seed Studio we'll also check it I have another board made by Seed Studio Raspberry Pi like T display with Raspberry Pi chip, M5 stack core without the battery, and of course T display S3, my favorite one. So I don't know. My tiniest board will consume very little power I'm not sure what the microcontroller is this but I will write inside of video next is Next is next is this one. Right now it's some boring playing music sketch. But it needs quite a lot. I think even more with display turned on. M5 stack. Ninety six. Here we have M uh, M five stamp, which have C three ESP thirty two chip, twenty five milliamps. Here is a Raspberry Pi. Wow. 
133. A lot. The display 88 milliamps. Here is nice Yoda sketch. And my favorite T display S3. We need to wait until it connect to internet. Is when it when this board is connected to internet, in it draws a lot, but usually it draws, but around 86 I can increase brightness so now it draws even more 